If you need to get out of a moving truck, you might think you should jump forward. Ooh, horizontal velocity is already locked onto the truck, whether you like it or not. It's a bit like neutrons in a reactor coolant loop. No matter how fast they scatter around, they're carried along with the coolant flow. But when you do so, you actually move even faster than the truck is driving, meaning you hit the ground at even higher speeds. So you're going to add a small bit of extra velocity, but the truck's velocity is going to dominate unless it's going really slow. Your injury risk is going to come from failing to match the ground speed when your feet touch. Which can easily break your legs. So Instead, perfect. face the other way and jump backward. This cancels out some okay. of the truck's speed, slowing your fall. So when you land, you're less likely to get seriously injured. So that's directionally correct, but not magic. Unless you're an Olympic long jumper, the reduction's only a few kilometers per hour. At highway speeds, it's nowhere near enough to prevent injury. It's the equivalent of inserting negative reactivity by moving control rods in one inch when you need to do a reactor trip. It's just not enough.